I get so caught up in the middle thinking of drowning hey what's up you guys if you're new here my name is marina today we're going to make over my island area while shane's over there washing the dishes <laughs> ain't he the best i just love him um if you're new here hey i'm always doing stuff like this um i'm never prepared but it always turns out pretty good or how i like it anyway we have a lot of fun over here we like to laugh we like to just be ourselves it's a love fest in the comments always listen we all everybody we're like this big old community of love <laughs> so if you enjoy <laughs> a community of love <laughs> then hang around i never tell y'all to subscribe because i feel like if you want to subscribe you will subscribe and i don't have to ask you to do that so i don't do that but hang around and be just be sure we'll tell you that we love you at some point <laughs> So if you remember, I did paint this area with chalk paint a few months ago <laughs> and I never put a top coat on it. So what I was doing here is I was washing off all the dirt and grime that stuck to chalk paint. Can you imagine? It was a pain in my rear end. So then after I got it cleaned off really good, I went in with my, what is it, Valispar? It's the like the high end, ritzy, expensive paint. It's not really, I think it's the cheapest paint at Lowe's, <laughs> but it's ritzy for me. And the white satin, and I'm using that as my top coat because I found out with my grandparents' cabinets that the satin white flat paint can actually work as a top coat. They've had that on their cabinet for like 15 years and it's been fine. So that's what I decided to do rather than work with polyacrylic because polyacrylic has been a pain in my rear end um, the last few times I've tried using it. I don't know if they mess with the formula or, or if I've just like lost skill. I don't know. Um, but I'm just going around and refreshing all the areas that I did with chalk paint with the flat paint. I will put up if it gets too dark, oh, oh, I'll be your I just realized that I painted the back of the shelves. I don't know why I did that if I'm putting contact paper up there. I don't know why I do anything. Okay, let's just keep going. So I was watching my friend Jennifer from Raising Girls and I noticed her backsplash. And the minute I noticed her backsplash, I was like, oh, I have the best idea for where I want to put that stuff. Come to find out it's contact paper from Walmart that you can actually get by walking in the store, not just ordering it online. I'll link it down below because I do have it online. But y'all, check your local Walmarts if you want this because I had to check two, but one of them had it. Oh, I get called the contact paper queen on the daily, but y'all, I cannot take credit for that. Shane is the contact king. I could not do half the stuff I do with contact paper without him. He's like got some kind of gift for it or something. <laughs> the gift is called patience, which I do not have. <laughs> You come running at me with a box cutter. Ow! I'm, I, you know what? I need to work out some aggression right now. Come here. Oh. Oh. I need to work some things out. Stop. Stop. Bend over. Stop. 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 Stop.
So a part of my original plan was to put it around the edging of the inside of my island here, but after putting half of it up, I realized that was a lot of texture. I had the backsplash tile, I had the, the rock wallpaper, and I had my granite faux contact paper. It was a lot of pattern going on. These are the lights that I decided to go with. They're the Energizer brand. Now, I originally got lights that had cord to them. They were the plug-in ones, but we ran into a problem when trying to install them because the cords were not long enough and they didn't have long enough extensions. So I remembered that I had saw these when I had went to go get the cord ones at Lowe's and I was like, I wonder. I originally didn't get these because I didn't want to fool with batteries, but I'm planning on getting rechargeable batteries so it'll be a more costly, effective, um, Oh crap, well it started out sophisticated, now I don't know where I was going with that. So it would be more costly effective. So these are really cool, you just turn them to open the back of them. On the inside of the back here you can see it takes three AA batteries and it has this little thing with screws or this like um, sticky Velcro stuff. What are those called? Command strips. It has like a command strip thingy. You can, so you can either screw it or do a command strip thingy. I would suggest doing a command strip thingy. It's got two sides. Both sides are sticky and then there's a layer of Velcro in the middle. So when you take it off to take off, to change the batteries, then it won't lose its stick. Now note that this video is not sponsored. I just genuinely thought that this product was super cool and I wanted to show you guys. I don't do sponsorships right now. I don't do brand deals. I have a ton in my email, but I just don't do that as of right now. I'm not interested. I will say the part that sold me for this item was the remote. It has so many different options. You can make it go any color, any in-between color you want to. It has a timer, has all kinds of cool stuff. I'll also have them linked in the description box if you want to try them out. It will not be an affiliate link. I don't do affiliate links either as of right now. I just I just genuinely wanted to show y'all this. <laughs> Have a lot of options um, as far as decor goes for that side so I'm just gonna have to work with what I got and kind of throw things together what are you doing <laughs> Blue. so obviously <laughs> I need to get some decor for this and I'll um I'll probably do that here within the next few weeks so that's kind of thrown together but it still looks cute as far as this side I could not love it anymore I'm in love I'm obsessed with it and the coolest part about it is the fact that it comes with this like I can do it oops upside down <laughs> I can do it I can do it literally I can turn them off turn them on I can look at that okay energizer i see you i can dim them brighten them make them red look it goes up you press the button and it goes from green to red how cool is that and it also has a timer on it how neat is that I can hide what this is. Yeah, I keep drowning in those blue eyes, and you 
can tell me of your lies I will put out all of the fire don't mind my house I'm about to do a clean with me but all that is decor that you guys will see here soon and I need to put that paint can up and I got dishes I need to do but from the door holy moly it sets it off I absolutely love thanks it thanks for hanging out with me y'all I love you and I hope you guys have a blessed morning evening night whatever it is wherever you're at all the products that I use will be linked down below I will see you guys tomorrow